met Ana Maria Perez de Tagle before many times here on Cabo Bay in LA. Not too long ago, we did a special on her and on her stint, sa Godspell, sa Broadway, sa New York. And guess what? Because she is an amazing performer, she is nominated for an award. This is the website on the screen. She needs our votes. And so go to this website. That's the address on the screen. And we need to vote for her, not just because she's a Cabo Bayan, but also because she is a wonderful performer at uh, Young God's Belpo is a play that runs in New York and uh, she is one of the 10 uh, cast members that's doing really well. Watch this. Day by day, day by day. point um, in the audition did you feel like, oh, maybe I got this, or maybe I'm 75% to getting the, this? The last audition, for oh, sure. I worked, not until the last? Not until the last one. I felt like at the last one I, I had worked on what I was asked to work on, and um, I also played with the song a little bit more day by day. I had to do my own kind of rendition of it, and um, I worked very hard for that one. I, I knew that going into that last audition that I had to give it my all, and I walked out and I said, I really hope and I feel, I really feel like this is it. And yeah, and you got it. it. Yes. What about you, George? My audition process was kind of, I, I was living in New York. I just, I had wrapped up the Spring Awakening National Tour uh, and I moved back to New York. And I, during the three months that I was back, I went in five times. And um, I didn't feel that feeling until the very end as well. Awesome. Um, but it was one of those situations where when I left the room and I left the building, there's kind of a code for theater people, like when you audition, like don't discuss the audition until you've right. walked three or four blocks away from where you audition. No. Just, to, just oh, in yeah. case, so, well, just in case someone who's in the room or someone who knows someone is near you, you don't oh, want, okay, right. you know. No. And, okay. and so I walked my my four blocks and I called my mother uh, because I update her about every audition, and I told her I was like, you know, I think. I don't know, I might be going crazy, but I think I might have this. And uh, 45 minutes later, I got the phone call from from the producer's office, and it, uh, I was crying and sweating, and <laughs> I was literally on the floor in the fetal position, <laughs> on the floor with my mother, right. who was, is a nurse, oh. and was screaming in a patient's room oh. on the phone with me. Very professional, it was fantastic. <laughs> um, well, they say Filipinos are about three Fs. Have you heard of that? Um, you know the three Fs? You want to guess? Want to guess? Faith, food, okay. and family. Okay. So let's talk about being Filipino on Broadway. When you guys saw each other, was <laughs> there the initial Filipino connection? Of Absolutely. course. He actually um, Twittered me. He tweeted oh. me and uh -huh. said, "Hey, girl, I'm I'm actually doing bro like I'm half Filipino and." And so I, I was like, oh, yay, I'm so excited to have a Filipino with me, too. And then when we met, it was like instant. Eating buddies. Just yeah. eating buddies. So that, then comes the, F, the uh, second F, the food. The food. Let's yeah. talk about the food. Yes, my favorite Filipino food. Well, my mom is living here, so she has been cooking Filipino food for myself and also the cast. So they, wow. she, we've been kind of like having a potluck yeah, at we have, these feasts. <laughs> we have feasts right. and then nap time and then nap time and so adobo we've had adobo sweet spaghetti sinigang, sinigang uh what else have we had sweet spaghetti uh, with hot dogs uh, yes beef steak. we had beef, <laughs> beef steak. Steak. Beef steak. Oh. another trivia about anna is her makeup artist look at her so gorgeous her makeup artist is her mom yes so every time she comes out it's only her mom that does her makeup did you know that she's see that's nice. <laughs> right yes she's a perfectionist and it, she never really took it up as a career she just likes to play and experiment and uh, she she started doing my makeup when I was doing theater when I was younger so she's been doing it ever since right and uh, what I like about you also is I've interviewed her many times on the program she stays true to her Filipino values so no dating and I've talked to other Filipinas about no dating especially those living in the States and they I feel the resentment the bitterness when you know the ladies young ladies are not allowed to date but Anna you know she understands yes she sticks to her Filipino values as I'm sure George how difficult is it to be 
Filipino with Filipino values, and we all know that's a little bit conservative, a little bit old-fashioned in an industry as you know dynamic as Broadway. I don't think it's um, very hard for me to to kind of go away from that. I again, it is my Filipino values that I, I grew up with, and um, right now it's it's work, work, work. So. I mean, when I'm done with work, maybe, but that's, you know, I'm, I'm just focused on that. I also think, like, our parents create such, like, nurturing homes for us, and what that creates are children who are very confident in who they are and confident in their values. So regardless of what's around them, they will always, always stay true to themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's... And we that are, to both yeah. of us, yeah, yes. absolutely. So you mentioned earlier, Anna, that <clears throat> you might want to stay in Broadway for longer. Yes. What I, about? Mm -hmm. I I do. Hopefully, if there's a, another production or, um, you know, after this, I would love to. I I love New York and I love Broadway and I want to continue doing it. I want Lord. her to stay. I want her to stay. I want. <laughs> I want her to stay. Day by day. Day by day.